Hey class, Adam Ward here. I wanted to work through an exercise from our lecture today on determining if equations are dimensionally homogeneous. Uh, this is an exercise that was in your class lecture slides. Uh, the equation that you are seeing on the screen right now um, is a descriptor of the flow rate of water out of a tank with a hole in the side. So I've envisioned that as a drum of water with a small hole of cross-sectional area A. Uh, the H represents the height of water above that orifice or that hole. Um, Q is the volumetric flow rate, so a volume per time. And the question put to us is, is this equation dimensionally homogeneous? So that's what we'll work through. So we'll start with the same equation that we saw on the last slide. Uh, and what we're going to try and do is essentially drop the unitless terms and express any term that has units using either FLT or MLT notation where that's force length time or mass length time. Uh, we don't want to mix forces and masses here. That'll ultimately end up confusing matters. So on the left-hand side, you can see that I've written uh, discharge as length cubed per time. So we know that's a volume per time. And of course, volume is not a basic unit. It is a cubic length scale. Uh, 0.61 is a unitless coefficient shown in red. I'm showing area in using blue pen, uh, length squared. And finally, the term in the uh, square root grouping, 2 is unitless, gravity is acceleration, so a length per time per time, or length per time squared, and h is a height, so that's a length scale. If we go ahead and keep simplifying things, uh, that right-hand side should now look something like this, uh, where the L squared has been retained, and in the square root sign, we've basically just simplified. L times L has become L squared. Now from there, um, if you remember how fractions work, uh, taken to powers, uh, we can distribute that square root sign to the top and bottom. We recall that the square root of something squared, those cancel each other out. And so we end up with length squared multiplied by length per time or ultimately we can prove to ourselves length cubed per time is equal to length cubed per time. Uh, that's the outcome we're after that proves that this is dimensionally homogeneous, uh, meaning we have an equation that essentially has the same units on either side. Uh, if this wasn't comfortable for you or you want more practice, um, what I've written here in green uh, is P as in pressure, uh, which we covered in lecture one, divided by gamma, which is specific weight, plus z, take z as a length scale, that's the a, an elevation, uh, plus v squared over 2g, where v is velocity and g is the gravitational constant. Um, this is actually uh, part of Bernoulli's equation, which we'll learn later in the semester. Uh, but if you want practice with FLT and MLT notation, uh, prove to yourself that all three of those terms have the exact same units. So um, since there is a term that's just a z, uh, which was a length scale, you ought to be able to reduce both the first and last terms to the same length scale. Okay, thank you for sticking with me, and I hope this recording helps you. Thanks, everybody.